everybody cam capital here with another video on tesla so uh if you didn't watch my tesla video from yesterday i'll link that but we got that big move in tesla today right so it closed at 762.32 up 8.6 percent today uh was a big gainer for the s p 500 uh, as you know spx was up today uh nasdaq was up dow ended up a little down russell a little down but tesla was the big green uh company in uh the s p today so here we're on the daily chart so we had the uh, doji on the moving averages from uh, Friday Monday we get that gap up so we got that turns this tr into a doji kicker symbol so we got doji kicker gapped up we move higher move through the 50 EMA and then we got another gap up this morning and see that in the pre-market we go down the five minute chart but we basically gapped up pre-market over that 718 710 area you know which had been acting as uh, prior resistance right so uh, some volume here up in the 720s you know slight pullback on the open then we pushed through 720s pretty quickly this morning and huge green candle um, you know increased volume today so 29 million yesterday 44 million today <clears throat> and according to the mixed volume down here basically everything's on the buy side so um, sentiment for Tesla has you know completely reversed in the last two days you know basically from sideways or you know somewhat of a sellers sellers in control uh, now buyers are, you know, completely in control moving forward. And then just to stay here on the daily, we might come back to it um, or look out at the standard D. But you see where we closed at. We're here now in this kind of area of lower volume, uh, you know, quite a bit uh, less volume, you know, in the upper 750s and above. So basically 750 to 800 is an area of low volume. And you, you'll see the reason why, um, you know, looking at Tesla's prior move back in December, to January so we look here technically January 5th 6th 7th and 8th you know we basically go from uh, 744 um, so below that 750 mark we get a gap up you know basically make a spinning top if you want to call that a doji and then a huge gap up the next day gap up over 800 and then gap up to 880 so we, there's not a lot of volume between that 750 and 800 you basically just have this one day right here 774 749 um oh excuse me this, that this line is actually 775 but that's why we do have that low volume 775 and so you basically have one two you have this one day here on the 29th that poked down to 770s three four five six days out of you know basically the last five months where there's there's volume uh in that level so volume is really low right here <clears throat> and also if you check here when tesla made the the move down in february we do have this gap so we'll, we're still going to look to fill uh, the rest of that gap here uh, tomorrow, which we, we could do pretty quickly, right? So the gap starts at 777, you know, to 768 and close the day, 762. So if we move up through there, you know, we like to fill that window, fill that gap up higher. Um, according to, you know, the Keltner channel here, we could be getting extended outside of its trading range, right? So that's sitting right now at 767, so the start of the gap. But here, prior move, you can see. Uh, Tesla has low regards upside to, uh, you know, using that active trading range as a, a barrier, right? So, and one thing about Tesla too is when it does move higher, it moves pretty quickly. As you see just from its prior moves, right? A lot of big green candles, right? When buyer's sentiment changes, it comes in pretty strong. So we'll look to see Tesla <coughs> continue up uh, tomorrow, but we'll just look at the end of the day chart for today. So pretty strong out of the get-go. So we see we get that gap up pretty pretty uh, quickly first thing in the morning up to 130 said the high you know 712 basically kind of some sideways consolidation staying above 705 and then <clears throat> going into an hour before the open get that 530 candle get big pop on you know increased volume buying volume gets us back over that 708 of that 786 fib move higher into the open pull back in the open uh, slightly you know the pullback was literally the first minute and then we're just off the races all day never got below the, the 22 moving average for the five minute if you go to the the 15 minute come on now the 15 minute right we you know one touch on the the 9 ema so this thing was bullish all day you know pretty incredible strength going forward so you'd like to see the continuation tomorrow um definitely and then uh <clears throat> one thing you also look at here um you know using the standard deviation channels here you see basically um, here on the 15 minute chart so yesterday we moved above the zero point on the standard deviation this neutral yellow line 
greens one deviation away dark yellow is two standard deviations away and uh <clears throat> basically opened on the, the half deviation mark got through it you know slight resistance right at the one deviation mark pushed up through it you know not as much at the half but we basically closed right at that two uh, so look to see if that you know could potentially be a little area of resistance in after hours um, as we are moving higher in after hours right now at 763 and a half is that new high but really i like the standard d's um, for future targets so here you'll see here out on the daily we like a i mentioned this half mark in the video from yesterday but we basically gapped over that so that was going to be uh, overhead resistance last night right at that 710 level gapped over so next target according to this using standard deviations would be this back to this neutral zero and that'd be now at 820 yesterday was 818 so it's still trending upwards and if we go to the four hour chart here you'll see now oops I zoomed too far in you'll see here the the four hour now is 818 so still corresponding to this uh, you know block of consolidated price action here uh, between 815 820 on, on a longer term range and if we check out the weekly here too you see we, we pushed it through the one standard div above here on the weekly basically if we get get can get to that one and a half we could be within striking distance of uh, you know Tesla's all-time high up that 900 area um, moving forward so that's what I got for you guys in this video on Tesla uh, let me know your, your thoughts it looks to me that uh, you know um, bullish sentiment and buyers will continue for at least tomorrow maybe the rest of the week um, so we'll just have to see. Uh, take, appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video, and we'll see you in the next one.